One thing that's really fun that Jackson started doing is he started saying this when he's asking about anything. Jackson, what are you doing? This. What are you looking for? This. This? This is the camera. This. You want this? This. Oh, the strap. The strap on the camera is what you want. You already have the lens cap. That. That? Do you want this? Do you want this lens cap? What are you guys doing? We're playing with this train. Oh, did we open this one? We've been opening up some of the Christmas presents from Grandma. Yeah. It's so funny to watch him because he has another, his tractor has a smoke pack on it. And when you push the smoke stack, it goes. Oh, and he keeps pushing it? And he keeps pushing it and nothing happens. Jackson, don't go outside. But stop trying to leave. Come put Mickey back. Where does Mickey go? Put Mickey where he goes. Mickey's nice the training work. conductor. work. Yep. And then we say, chugga 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 because it's only cold enough one day. Bye. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It is morning now. Having some coffee from my Alabama mug. I have to say, we talked about this in, I think the last time vlog. Yeah, I know, buddy. Or maybe it was this video. I can't remember which video it was, but we talked about getting some Joffrey's coffee because we wanted to Jackson's right below me because we wanted to feel like we were at the parks and let me just tell you this decaf chocolate macadamia nut from Joffrey's is so delicious Rich chocolate blended with a flavor of Hawaiian macadamia nuts. Hi, buddy Are you holding that milk carton for mama? I was gonna go throw that outside because it is needing to be put into the recycling bin, but buddy wanted to hold it You feel like you're helping mommy? You do? Well, thank you for helping mommy. Yeah. This is the kitchen. This is the other coffee can. What's this? You want this for mommy? Oh, thank you. Thank you for helping mommy. That was very nice of you. So Tim is upstairs. He's showering. He's getting ready for the day. Um, he actually has to go run some errands. I'm going to be here with the little buddy. We're going to have a little mommy and buddy playtime. So that's very exciting. And, uh, oh, we're making a mess. Um, we did get some fun toys from Epcot yesterday, so maybe we'll play with those. And um, he hasn't seen them yet, but I think he's really gonna like it. And then we're just, we're just gonna kinda hang out at home today. So this is our coffee and tea cabinet. It's like right above our little coffee area in the kitchen. But we also got the French roast and the French bistro, both decaf. And then we just have some teas and things up here tea kettle, stuff like that. But uh, we're so excited to have this. We feel like we're at Disney World. It's so nice. Disney at home. So something that I think is really funny is that Jackson, um, we let him play in some of these drawers because they have things that he knows he can play with, like the strainer is fine to play with. Where's the other one? You see it? But he doesn't, he, he only plays with one thing at a time. So he will, is that for mommy? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So he'll get like two things in his hand and then realize, oh, I can only have one thing, which I don't know why he thinks that. You wanna trade me? You wanna give me that one? Are you gonna put one back? Oh, thank you. Did you put that back for mommy? That was so nice. You wanna close it? You wanna close it? Oh, good job, bud. Wow, that was so good. So for breakfast, I am going to make some eggs. I have an English muffin in the toaster over there. And then this little buddy is just kind of hanging out, playing with his little kitchen stuff. Yay. Oh, there's my English muffin. And that is breakfast, some cheesy eggs. I did put some ketchup on there. I do love ketchup on my eggs. I know I'm gonna share it with you, buddy. He loves ketchup on the eggs too. But I also love hot sauce and salsa on my eggs. But if I'm gonna share with him, I do ketchup because he can't have hot sauce and the salsa that we use is a little bit too spicy. Okay. <laughs> we were watching Bluey. So somebody's gonna go uh, to Epcot. I have to go to Epcot because when we were on the way out yesterday, we saw Leave a Legacy and we said, what's that? I don't know, I'll check it out next time. Should have gone over and checked it out. So I'm yeah. gonna check it out really quick right now and then I'll be right back. Yeah, then we're gonna have today's video up in a little bit, buddy, right? Okay. Yeah.
So Jackson and mommy are gonna go upstairs and play while you are gone and then, <laughs> is that so funny? And then when you come back, we're all gonna play. Oh yeah. Okay. What are we gonna play, Parcheesi? Yeah. Okay, you're back. I'm back. Hello. I went into Epcot and then I walked out. <laughs> the guy goes, you leaving already? I said, yep. He said, all right, have a good day. So on the way home, you picked up some lunch. You got some Tijuana Flats. Yeah, this is a chicken chimichanga. It's got a bunch of stuff on top of it. Right. But it's basically like a fried burrito. Yeah, it's really good. And then I got a Dos Tacos, but I got the kind that are like, like the soft taco and then cheese and then the hard taco shell. They call it a double stack. Yeah, it looks so delicious. Um, so a lot of people ask, like, where do you eat when you're not at the theme parks? Like, what kind of, like, fast, not fast food, but, like, not sit-down restaurants do you fast eat casual. at? Yeah, and so Tijuana Flats is one of our favorites. Tijuana Flats is the best. It's Well, it's not the best, but it's, it's one of our favorites. the best favorite. Tex-Mex that I can think of. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> so we really like Tijuana Flats. I think that they're kind of, like, in the south. There's a local, yeah. Started by UC, over by UCF. But I don't think it's just Florida. I think it's no. branched out to, like... Georgia and like other southern states too. Yeah. So that's what we're having for lunch. So well, buddy's asleep too, by the way. Oh yeah, he's having his his nap for the day. He was. I tried to keep him up. He was so tired. He so was. Five minutes of all sleep. Yeah, he was exhausted. He kept having like little mini meltdowns because he just wanted to go to sleep, and I was like, okay, if we can just stay up for like five more minutes five more minutes and then I fed him some lunch. He had some pasta and that kept him up for a little bit longer, but he, he needed to go take his nap. So we did it a little bit sooner than we normally would for like a one nap day kind of a day, but it's really been helping him sleep through the night so well. So I think that's what we were doing wrong. I think he really just needed one nap a day. So now he's sleeping through the night. It's fantastic. He'll sleep from like 7.30, 8 o'clock until like five. Yeah. And then he wakes up, gets a little bit of milk, and he falls back asleep. Yeah, so we just bring him into our bed, and then he'll sleep like next to me for like another two or three hours. Yeah. So it's been really great. We've been getting more sleep. I feel like we're a little bit more refreshed. Kind I think of. So, but I think <laughs> it's it's going to be harder to do a schedule around this because the nap is just like smack dab in the middle of the day. Yeah. So we'll have to do something early morning or later at night. Right. So. I think we'll figure it out. Yeah, we gotta figure it out still though. <laughs> so while Jackson's sleeping, recently I bought some like bookshelf toy bins that I need to assemble to go upstairs in his little play area. And we're gonna kind of rearrange that play area to fit these things, but I I'm excited to see how they're gonna turn out. So I'm gonna start putting those together right now. Cue the time lapse. shelf is that daddy made you. Put that one in there. Are you putting your toys away? Put it in there. There oh go, my buddy. goodness. Here you go, Jackson. Put this one in there too. Put it in there. Wow. Oh, I just realized we still have our Oogie Boogie Nutcracker out. Yeah. It's not Christmas time. He's not from Christmas. Yes, he is. No, he's not. He's Oogie Boogie. He's from Halloween Town. He's a Nightmare Before Christmas. It's a Christmas movie. It is before Christmas now. <laughs> here, <Jackson. laughs> Buddy, those those toy bins that we just were working on are gonna go right here underneath this TV. The perfect spot for them, right? <laughs> yeah. You sitting on the couch with Dada? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you got it? You want to hold it? Okay, you got it. Okay. That's the camera. You're vlogging. Okay. Thank you. You did great. You in the back? You got the, you got the wrist strap? All right. Nice job. So the video is done. I finally finished it. It was a long one. It took me a minute to edit. So that's exporting. While that's happening, I'm going to get the stuff ready for dinner. We're going to have these crispy beef gyros. Gyros. Heroes. Gyros. Gyros. That's what we're having. This little baby buddy. 
Oh no, Jackson. Stay away. Don't get me. Don't get me. Chase he's daddy. Getting, getting after me. Oh, get man. that daddy. You better get oh, that no. daddy. Oh, no, no. He's, Go get him. He's gaining on me. He's gaining on me. Oh no. Daddy tricked you. I'm making dinner now. Tim is putting the baby to sleep. We have a bunch of stuff we have to do tonight. So he's doing the baby stuff. I'm doing the dinner stuff. We are having these. I think we told you that already, but I totally started making everything and I didn't show you what I was doing. So I'm very sorry, but I'm cooking the gyro meat. I was marinating my stuff for my little salad and then I am toasting my little pitas up. But I didn't realize that you're supposed to cook like a large hamburger almost. You let it cook until it's like crispy on one side and then you try to flip it. I don't know how I'm gonna flip this thing. I'm gonna try though. So I made everything. It looks kinda, the meat looks kinda funky but it smells really good. It has some gr uh, garam masala on it. Here's the little salad that we made. Looks really nice. Yeah, it just had a little um, red wine vinegar and some olive oil, salt and pepper, tomatoes, cucumbers. Here's my tzatziki that we made. This is amazing. I love this. You and keep then, saying we. I didn't do anything. He, they helped me. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice work, everybody. <laughs> um, and then I just softened up my pitas. So now we're going to build these. We're going to put, I'm going to put a lot of this on mine. Which one do you, do you want this one? Oh, it doesn't matter. Whichever one. Okay. Because this stuff is delicious. Oh, okay. I kind of want to put this on everything. Not really a fan of Greek uh, yogurt. Oh, this tastes so good though. Taste this. It's pretty good. Right? So it's, it's uh Greek yogurt, cucumber, salt and pepper. Grated garlic. Okay. And I think that was it. I don't know. It's just really good. Can I give you enough? Oh, I got plenty, yeah. Okay, sorry, yours is probably, this might be mine. Then I'm gonna add my meat. Like a giant hamburger. It, yeah, it was kind of funky. They called it crispy beef. Yeah, I'm gonna, I wash my hands, don't worry. And then, There's so much meat though. I know, I don't know, this is gonna be hard to eat, I think. I might have to eat it with a, with a fork and a knife. I mean, you can do that, you're allowed. Yeah. Cause then I have to add the salad. There's no rules to euros. It's true, you can do whatever you want. I don't know how you're supposed to eat it like even when you're not just at home eating dinner. I'm yeah. sure there's some etiquette that you're supposed to follow, but we don't have to do that here. I think they needed to give us bigger pitas. Uh, yeah, or maybe like more pitas, because this is a lot. Yeah, you make like two per person. Yeah. Is there like salad on the side or is it just like... Yeah, we do salad on the side too. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, look at that, that's great. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh, that you were doing this side. I think it's gonna be just a lot of yeah. stuff and then, and then we're a little just bit gonna of cilantro on top a little cilantro so i mean honestly this smells wonderful i think it's gonna be wonderful i love everything that we have gotten so far this week oh no wait i don't i didn't love what we got yesterday just kidding what did we eat yesterday the noodles they weren't very tasty oh i didn't mind those it just needed like more it wasn't flavor. like i would seek out noodles it was um I, mean, no, I, I don't really like noodles somebody left a comment and they're like they're like, Tim tells us he hates noodles and rice. Jen orders everything with noodles and rice. Um, most of this stuff has noodles and rice in it. Like, yeah, it's no, like a thing. Yeah, there's not like a choice. that There's a lot of it has rice and noodles because it's just like a staple for dinner stuff. So I try to add the least amount of that that I can for you. Yeah. So. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. It yeah, looks amazing. Good. Looks great. It looks like a lot of food. Yeah, it does. All right, well, let's get our, let's get our gyro on. I always like to look because it says how many calories it is. Look at how much, did I do too much salad? There's I think I did. 840 cal, oh geez, yeah. <laughs> but there's still, there's not as much meat on there either. What the heck? Look at all that, but they, they added a lot of tzatziki. Yeah, they did. They know what's up. 840 calories. Wow. Just test, just testing the salad. Good. Oh yeah. This is really good. Is it? Like. So something that I really like, and I think I've said this before about this box, is that it kind of gets us to try stuff we wouldn't normally try. And I've never really loved the, I don't know if I'm saying it right, the garam marsala seasoning. Mm -hmm. I've never really liked that flavor, um, but this box, we've used it on a few things. It's really good. I think your taste buds like evolve every six years or something they say, like you should oh, try really? it. Isn't that what they say? Like you should I've try never stuff. heard anything like that, but it sounds like something that could be true. I used to hate green peppers and now I like green peppers. So I just think it's worth like trying things you didn't like, um, you know, years ago, I guess. Like try them again, you might like them. 
Is that what it is? Because I used to eat fish all the time when I was a kid. Maybe. And now I don't like it. And then your body was like, hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I, I hope that never happens to me because I love fish. But uh, I would totally make this again. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see what you think about it. I've just been eating salad. I yeah. ate my salad first because I'm the kind of person that likes to eat a salad first. And then I go into the, the main course. See, I like to eat the thing I'm most excited for first. And then I eat the things I'm not excited for last. Oh, like yeah. dessert. I'm not excited <laughs> for dessert at all. Oh no, we don't have any dessert. We oh. eat everything. Dang. So while we were eating dinner, we got a package in the mail. And a couple of packages in the mail. Yeah, so when we stayed at the Riviera, we showed you the like art machine where you could buy art from the resort. And we actually bought a few things because we love the art so much at the Riviera. And it came in the mail finally. This looks bigger than I thought it would be. I don't know which one this one is. I don't either, but it looks bigger <laughs> than I thought it would be. What do we get? Oh, yay! Oh, Oh, I love it. If you remember, this is the one that was in the room. It was to the left of the bed. Yeah. I love yeah, it. A big Mickey in it. I know. It's the three kittens from Aristocats. This is awesome. And I like the, the frame. The frame looks nice. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Looks like it was damaged just a little bit in <sighs> shipping. Oh, no. So. Got a couple of little dings here and there, but nothing too Does intense. It? Let me see, where's the other one? Oh, yeah, just geez. like that. What do we do? Just a little black, a little black marker. Dang. Well, so there you go. It could come damaged in shipping, and I'm nervous because this box looks like it definitely got dinged up. So, ooh. And these weren't like super cheap, so that's kind of a bummer that they were damaged a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. But that's, that's okay. Like that little bit is okay on the frame. I hope yeah. that like the actual art itself isn't. Yeah, yeah. Ah, it looks so good. So this was the Castle at Dawn. I just like, this was so beautiful. We had to get it. I don't know if this one was in the room anywhere. This one was out in the hallway, right? It was in, like when you were coming down from the lobby, when you were coming, when you were going down to either the lobby or to Primo Piatta. It was either on the first floor or the second floor. It was on the second floor. When you were coming off the elevator. Yeah. Like, it was so like huge in the hotel and it was so beautiful. Right around the corner from the cafe. Oh the yeah. Cafe. Let's see. <gasps> I love it. It looks so nice. Yeah, it looks good. Wow. And this one is not, the frame is in better shape, so. Good, okay. I Man. just noticed it's signed. Not like actually signed, but like the artist oh, signed. Oh yeah. <gasps> this is so pretty. Yeah, one thing that I wish that they did though is that there was no way to know who the actual artist was. Yeah, they never told us. They never said anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> like, which is kind of a bummer because I'd like to see other art from this person because I really like it. Yeah, it's cool. Clip, clop, clippity, cloppity. <laughs> <laughs> we are on our way. Uh, he has a horse that sings the song, so. It's a VTech. Like I said, VTech and Fisher Price have got some jams. They're boppity bops. Yeah. So another thing that we got from speaking of Jackson's toys. Oh yeah. So um, when we went to Epcot, we saw the Remy's it's little the little, little chef. chef set, and some of you guys were like, "I hope you got that for him." We did. We had to buy it. It was like so super cute. How could we not buy this? Right. Like this is the cutest thing ever. So it comes with a hat. Gloves, which they did say that these, um, what are they called? Oven mitts. Oven mitts. They're not gloves. <laughs> Food gloves. <laughs> um, they did say these are not like actual oven mitts, which who's going to let their baby like take something hot out of the oven? Don't do that. I don't know. Yeah. So, um, and then all of the fruits and, apron, and vegetables and cheese. A knife. It's not a real knife. Not a real knife. He's got a knife. A spoon, a little Remy. A cutting board. Yeah. So I think he's gonna like absolutely oh, love this. Oh, it says it at the bottom of the box what all it comes with and we're just like looking oh, at it. we're guessing. Apron, chef's hat, oven mitt, cutting board, plastic knife, plastic spoon, six plastic food items, and a plush Remy. So cute. So um, he was supposed to, we were supposed to open it up today and let him play with it today because we were so excited for him to see it, but we forgot. Yeah, I left it in the car <laughs> and then I forgot that it was in the car. Yeah, and I read a comment that was like, I hope you got that for him. And I was like, we did. Why didn't we pull it out? Of, like, why, why didn't he play with it? Because we, I read it after he fell asleep. Dang. So, ding dang. Um, but he will play with it in the next home vlog. We'll show it to you. I'm so excited for him to see it. 
I can't wait to see him in a little hat and a, I know. And a little apron. Like, how cute! Isn't that gonna be so cute? I think it's gonna be way too big for him. He has a big head. Yeah, okay. I think it might fit him. We'll see. We'll, we'll all find <laughs> out together. <laughs> um, another thing uh, is that we need to go to bed soon because we have something really fun coming up tomorrow and we need to get ready for that. And uh, it's kind of an early ish day for yeah. us. So um, be on the lookout for some new fun stuff. Yeah. But so I think we're going to go to bed now. I, we didn't put the um, the new toy chest upstairs. No, because I still have to build another one. No, I know. But I am excited to like clean that area up and like get that all situated. And um, we still have so many like home things that we need to do. Like yeah. just things around the house. Now we got that new Aristocats art. So I want to get our guest room going because that's going to be like an Aristocats themed room. So I don't know. There's just so much exciting stuff happening soon. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's exciting to me. <laughs> it'll be happening. It'll, it'll be happening. It won't be exciting, but it'll be happening. I have to put the gate at the top of the stairs, which somebody said that the gate at the top of the stairs was dangerous. Yeah. But if that's true, what do you do? Yeah, they said that he could climb over the gate and fall down the stairs, which I totally get how that could be a thing that happens. But, but if there's not a gate there, he could fall down the stairs. Yeah, what do you do? Just get like a really tall gate? Or does that make it even more of a danger? We put a door. Yeah, what do you do? Put a door at the top of the stairs. <laughs> Just like a, a regular <laughs> full -out door. door. Which he knows how to open doors, so... Uh, yeah, so... I think we just have to have to get at the top of the stairs and supervise him, which we, is what we do. We don't leave him alone, like, uh, ever, really. Like, he's never alone. We're never just like, go run around, child. Yeah. Because I, I don't know what would happen if we did that. So I don't think we would do that. I think he'll be okay, but let us know, like, if... What do we do? Right. So... Um, another thing I just want to mention really quick because it was very cute is um, some of you left some comments saying that he said thank you in yesterday's video. So there's, and I'll leave a timestamp, I'll link the video down below and I'll leave a timestamp of, of the time that he said it. But um, Tim wiped his face and he goes, thank you. No, you don't want to No more, are we all done? Okay, well thank you for having your, your little snacky there, bud. We're gonna get you real lunch soon. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> he did. He so, did say thank you. So there are three things that we're working on with him mm -hmm. right now and that's, he says this. Yeah. And he points at stuff. He says, what's this? What's this? What's he this? Says, what's this? What this? What this? <laughs> it's so cute. And, um, thank you. But he says, thank you. Yeah, he goes, thank you. Like, we know what he's saying. You know what I mean? You know, you know how, like, parents can, like, decode their kids. Yeah. It's one of those things. And but then, you guys heard it, too, so it's pretty clear, I think. Yeah. And then we're working on I love you. And he does say I love you. It's so adorable. If we can get him on camera saying it, like, in a future video, we'll point it out. But Yeah. It's like... It, it is it is a bit of gibberish, but it's got the cadence of I love you. Yeah, like he... So we know that that's what he's trying to say. Because he says it after we say it to him, when we're like, I love you, and he goes, I love you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, and he goes, eh. Like, he is, he is saying it. We know what he's saying. Yeah. Um, but he's it's almost so, there. Yeah, he's, he's like talking. Yeah, he has this. He definitely says this. 100% mm -hmm. of the day, <laughs> he says this. He says it about every... This? 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 He's like the the seagulls. Are they seagulls? Yeah, the ones that mine? are like mine, mine, mine. Yeah. He's he's that, but he says this. But and we're taking the opportunity that every time he says it, we go, oh, this is a water bottle. Right. This is a fan. We were. This is. We, I was changing his diaper in the again when we were at um, Epcot. I changed his diaper in the new Remy um, Ratatouille, the French area that's now open with the new bathroom. And I was changing his diaper in there, and he's like this he was just literally like i'm like this is a wall he's like this i'm like this is your diaper and i felt bad for the people that were in the bathroom because they've got to be like come on <laughs> <laughs> what why would they be like that because i was like non-stop talking sometimes you just want to go to the bathroom in peace be oh. quiet well you don't want to hear about that okay <laughs> what? okay <laughs> oh man you had to be there Ooh. <laughs> Tim told me a funny bathroom story. <laughs> now I'm crying now. <laughs> and you can't do that because I can't tell them the bathroom story. Just know that it was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. Um, see, and Jackson does that in the bathroom too sometimes because the bathrooms are echoey. Mm -hmm. So he'll just be like, da! <laughs> da da! And he'll just start like saying it really loud. And I'm like, daddy's outside. And he's like, da! Because <laughs> it just sounds cool to them. And yeah. I think they're like, like, ooh, this is new. I totally cried. Um, kids are so funny, though. Like, man. Kids say the darndest thing. We like, Somebody should make a show like that. <laughs> um, 
They should. We yeah. should do that million dollar idea. It's already happened. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not, I know. <laughs> oh. I was playing along. Oh, yeah. Is, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, kids are awesome. So, today was a great day. Today was great. We had a lot of stuff to do around the house. We got most of it done. I feel like I got one thing done. <laughs> I think, you know I, I went to Epcot this morning. I forgot about that. That's, listen, we, we got one thing done and that's all we needed to do. Yeah. I mean, like, you did one thing. Did it. So, good for you. Pat on the back. My shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> um, we hope that you guys had a great day as well. Um, thank you for hanging out with us at home. We appreciate it. Yeah. And with yeah. that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.